Hello, students. Professor Benavides here. Let's talk about task two of your lab two. This is again from uh, chapter two of your book. And it's, it's, uh, this uh, chapter covers a lot of, of topics, but one of the main topics is the file explorer. So let's go ahead and, and uh, launch the file explorer. You can launch it from the search box. You can just click on the icon. So there's, there's many ways uh, to get there. So um, in the file explorer, it's got a, a, a lot of stuff on here that we're gonna be learning. There's the share tab, the view tab. We'll be learning about all of these little check marks and buttons and how to navigate around here. Um, on here, like say for example, one of the more important things is to know the structure inside of uh, this PC that it consists of the desktop, documents, downloads, music, picture, videos. And then later on, we'll start learning about how to drill down on the uh, C drive. For right now, let's just go ahead and assume that, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on here and I wanna see as many files as possible. So the task says this, open up the file explorer. This is task two from chapter two. Open up the file explorer and navigate to your Windows folder. So let's go ahead and navigate to the Windows folder. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to open up my C drive, right? And I'm gonna open up the Windows folder. Well, I'm just gonna click on it, right? So uh, it says, um, navigate to your Windows folders. View the files in details view and sort the files in reverse alphabetical order. I've already got it in detail view, but let me go ahead and go over the views since I've got you here. So the views that we've got here include, you know, large icon, small icon, tiles, you know, you've got extra large icon, large icon, lists, contents, media. I use details most of the time because I like to see the the date the file was created, the folder and all that kind of good stuff, right? So the Windows folder is the folder that contains the Windows operating system. And you don't wanna be, you know, deleting or modifying files here unless you really know what you're doing. So for our purposes here uh, in an introductory class is to know where the folder is, what it is, and know how to view it using the file explorer, okay? So again, we've got the file pull down menu. We've got home, share, and view. View allows us to um, change the layout as well as the panes. We'll be talking more about that as, as time goes on. But for right now, let's get in details view. So you go to view, details. Let me read the directions again. View the files in details view and sort the files in reverse alphabetical order. Really easy to do. Reverse alphabetical order is that you would go ahead, see the name, see the, these tabs up here at the top? All you gotta do is click on them and it'll reverse sort it. See that? Same thing with date, if you wanna go ahead and do that. See how you can reverse order that, you know? So I have, uh, I clicked on name and um, it put it in reverse alphabetical order. Notice how I've got different kinds of icons on here now. These are files. What we had before are folders. So one of the major things we need to do in this class is visually learn the icon that represents a folder and distinguish it from the icon that represents a file. So that's, you know, usually my tasks or the, 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 uh, uh, the tasks that you're assigned have multiple reasons why we should do them is it's, we're gonna put this into full screen view, but along the way we learn a lot of other things such as, you know, the file explorer, it's a file manager, it has tabs at the top, we can modify the way we view the files. We need to know the difference between a file and a folder, okay? So it says, uh, put the reverse up, we're gonna put the file explorer into full screen view, okay? So, um, Full screen view 
uh, in your book, if you look for it, it's in the Power Users uh, Clinic uh, section uh, of your book. And uh, there's a lot of shortcuts. I'm only going to cover one. And the reason why I'm going to cover this is because it's a useful one, not only to use in the File Explorer, if you want to see a lot of stuff on the screen, but it's useful if you're in the browser, probably more so in the browser. Okay, so you're probably going to want to remember this for the browser. It's really, I'm just talking about F11. So if I press F11 now, see how I put all of that into, this is called full screen view. Okay, and if you press F11 again, it takes it off. Now that's different than collapsing. It may look very similar to collapsing the ribbon. It's another thing that was discussed uh, in this chapter, collapsing the ribbon. Let's see if we can... Um, distinguish or maybe they are the same let's go ahead and see that you'll uh, uh, okay so here i've got the ribbon expanded and i'm going to press f11 see if you can see the difference here yeah it's you get much more uh in the full screen view it's not it's not the same as getting rid of the ribbon ribbon so i'm pressing f11 again so i'm making a comparison here between full screen mode and collapsing the ribbon of the file export. Sometimes you may not want, and of course we collapse it when we want to have, when we want to view more on the screen. You know, that that um, that's why we would want, we want, we want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put this back into full screen view. See that? Oh, it's different. And now the only thing left for us to do is do a print screen and call it uh, test to full, um, we'll just call it File Explorer full screen view. Okay, so I'm gonna do a print screen and I'm gonna go ahead and just exit this as I'm finished, go into paint and paste. I'm gonna go file, save as, Notice how it's already set to the folder. That's that's the that's probably why if you have a little forethought, just go ahead and create your folder right away and start saving to it. That way it's ready to go, uh, you know, on here. So I'll call it file explorer full screen mode. And um, I'm gonna change it to uh, JPEG, JPEG, PNG, it's okay. Just remember we're doing the JPEGs because it, you know, when you when you zip it and send it to me, they'll be they won't be as big. Okay, save. Okay. All right, closing, and I'm gonna verify that it's there. I don't want to think that I did something and not do it. So yes, it is there. So if I go to view, we're gonna be using this a lot as we as we go along here. Uh, I can see that I've got that on there. Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and that's the end of this presentation. Thank you.